Before we get started, get your pencils and notebooks. Today is our ability test prep. Yay, I hope you have a good time in today's class. In today's class, we will look at verbal reasoning type questions. We will look at the topics that are under the verbal reasoning category, and we'll also look at some examples. Let's look at the first topic that will come on the examination, and that's analogy. What is analogy, an analogy do? Analogy is a particular type of question that consists of a pair of words which a particular relationship is established. Your goal in the examination is to identify the relationship that is established by the first pair of words and use it to select the best word to complete a second pair of words. Let's look at an example. Coffee is the cup as soup is to A, pot, B, bowl, C, saucer, or D, appetizer. What's your answer? But before we get to the answer, let's try to decipher and flesh out the question a little bit more. Let's see how we can approach this question. What is the relationship between coffee and a cup? It is often best to turn our analogy into a bridge sentence. To drink coffee, I use a cup. So to drink soup, what would I use? What do we use to drink soup? We use a cup to drink coffee. In a similar way, a bowl is used to drink soup. Let's look at the next topic that will come on the ability test examination. We are still on the verbal reasoning type questions. Next up is classification. In the classification types of questions, we are going to be given four words. All of the words are related to one another in some way. However, one word is odd. This means it does not fit in with the others. Your goal in the examination is to select the odd word. To do this, you first have to determine what all of the words have in common, then choose the word that is different. Let's look at, look at an example. Which does not belong in the group? A, TikTok, B, Facebook, C, hashtag, or D, Instagram. I know we're all familiar with these words. What is your answer? Let's see. Hmm. How are all these things related? All these things are related to social media. However, only hashtag is used on social media apps all the other items are social media apps themselves. So hashtag is the odd one out. Let's look at our next topic that will come on the ability test examination. We're still in the verbal reasoning type of questions. Next up is the essential parts. For this type of question, you must identify which part is a, from a given list is an absolute necessity or it is absolutely necessary. Let's look at the example. Which is an essential part of the word in bowl? The word in bowl is bathroom. A, water. B, bathroom tub, 
C, mirror, or D, rug? What is your answer? Let's see. Which of these could a bathroom not work without? Could a bathroom work without water? Could a bathroom work without a bathtub? Could a bathroom work without a mirror? Or could the bathroom work without a rug? Without water, we will not be able to practice proper hygiene. Therefore, water is an essential part. Now let's look at the next topic that will come on the examination. And this is the final topic that we're going to be looking at for this part of the ability test video. From the verbal reasoning category. So we have the artificial language now. In this type of questions, we will be required to analyze words based on an invented language or a made up language. We're going to be deriving particular rules and patterns from these languages. Then use these rules and patterns to figure out other words in this made up or artificial language. Let's look at the example. The, word, the words in bold below come from an artificial language. Examine the meaning of each word and then answer the questions or the question that follow. So for these type of questions, it is best we spell the word out then try to pronounce them. Some of these words can be a bit of a tongue twister. So we're going to be on the safe side and spell them. F-R-E-I-H-A-U-F means large farm. N-G-B-U-R-G means yellow truck. L-A, sorry, S-L-A-U-T-R-N-H-A-U-F means large airport. Which word is likely to mean large truck. B U R G F R E I N G H A U F K L U T E N B U R G or H A U F W A G E N what is your answer before we look at the answer let's break it down f r e i h a u f means large truck if you notice that even though h a u f means large and it is at the end of the artificial word when it is translated to english the word appears at the beginning. This is a pattern. Let's look at the next word. S-L-A-U-T-E-R-N-H-A-U-F means large airport. Again, H-A-U-F means large. However, it's not at the beginning like the English word that is translated. It is at the end. So we have a pattern there. It is definitely a pattern. N G B U R G means yellow truck. So we can deduce that H A U F means large and N G means truck. Again, N G means truck because NG started the artificial word, but it ends the translated word. Therefore, NG 
H-A-U-F means large truck. I hope you were able to garner as much information that I intended to share and learn the different topics and you were able to see some of the questions that will come from these topic areas from the verbal reasoning category of the questions that will come on the ability test examination. So this is where we end for today. Part two of the verbal reasoning video will be uploaded in our next video that is uploaded to the website. Thank you for joining today. And please do like, share with another student who is doing the ability test examination and also sub subscribe to our channel to get the latest video and hit that notification bell to also get first-hand notification that there is a new video.